Hello, this is Albert and I want to talk about the chaotic method. Uh, this is a method that I have been using for the last uh, years and I think it might be useful for other people as well. Uh, these two words uh, are uh, an oxymoron because cha chaotic means something like disorder, something like confusion and method means something like order. It's the opposite. It means uh, you have uh, something with a structure. Well, uh, why we're using these uh, two words or this approach? Because we have two two goals. The first goal is we want to learn the language. And the second goal is that we, we can want to keep doing it. So, if we want to learn the language, you we use uh, methods, and uh, when I talk about methods, I talk about input and output. We need some method, there are a lot of good methods that then use input, uh, li listening or reading or uh, output uh, like writing or or speaking. And this is order. And what I mean with this order is that I recommend to do what you feel like doing. Why? It's easy, because if you do what you feel like, you'll keep doing it. You'll have motivation and you will do the order, the structured methods to learn the language. For example, if you want to learn a language and you feel like watching TV, uh, well, okay, a documentary about uh, science, you can watch this. Or if you feel like reading about uh, cookery or about anything like this, you can read the book about how to cook, or how to to do things like that. Or maybe you think you need to study grammar. Uh, well, you can study grammar because you feel like it. Uh, you think you you need it, and well, you you are using order, but within this disorder, or you are using you are using disorder within within this order. See, what I mean is that the chaotic method is um, chaotic, chaotic, but it has an underlying order, and that's what we are using to use the uh, methods and to improve our willpower. Okay, bye bye.